Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to install Ansible. For this, we need pip installed and python installed in our system. If you don't have python installed, then you can check my video on how to install python on your macOS system correctly. So in the meantime, I did pip install Ansible and here it's just going through and installing the required package. Going to accelerate this and see you once it's all installed. So let's have a look how we can have a setup made through Ansible that once we have our Linode instance created by Terraform, it's going to install all of the software we need automatically for us. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new directory called Ansible and then I'm going to create a new file called setup.yml and now I'm going to open this setup.yml and I'm going to insert all the software required to get, uh, to get everything installed that we need up to Nginx. First of all, we need to update and upgrade all of the apt packages in our system. We use Ubuntu, so we use apt as a package manager. So we're going to do the installation and upgrade. Then we're going to install all the required software such as Git, curl, nginx, python, uh, the apt transport https, CI certificates which we're gonna need later and uh, then we're gonna install virtualenv for python uh, and we want everything to have uh, the latest version. Then the next step we want to start and enable nginx. So we want nginx to be installed and once all of this is created, let's save the file, let's go back to our main.tf and this file comes from the previous video where we created Linode instance. If you did not, then I would suggest you to go there and have a look. And actually before this one, we need to go to our backend file and add this section for Ansible. Okay, so that's what we need in our Ansible and now in our main.tf, we're gonna add a new provisioner to insert all of this. Uh, so we're gonna put our local execution where the command we're gonna do um, the first variable, Ansible host key checking equal false. It's basically required because we want to avoid that SSH is going to insert, uh, uh, is going to check the host stopping the environment. Then we want to use the user root. We use the IP address that has been just created. Notice the comma, that's because the I flag in Ansible Playbook can also take a file in. The comma means that it's gonna be applied to a list of IP addresses. The SS key is the same as key, SS key that we use uh, to create the machine. So the SSH will use the same key. And then we're gonna create the Ansible setup.yml that we have just created. So let's save the file and now all it's left to do is to go back to our terminal and do our and do our Terraform apply. Let's do a Terraform apply and we're gonna use the auto proof flag so that you don't have to type yes. So let's see you at the end of the apply when I'm going to open the web browser and to show you that Nginx has been automatically created on the IP address of this brand new machine. All right, let's have a look if on this IP address we can find Nginx and here you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.